So you're going to deprive your child. You're going to deprive your child of access to his father, as well as strip the black man of his rights as a father to be in his child's life for what? What's she doing all this for? Because she hurt? Because she feel like she's been misused and abused? Or it's a bunch of children, homie, just being raised in those same conditions. Uh, it causes depression. Uh, suicide. It's a whole lot of kids fucked up, homie, because they got a mama like that. Uh, that's that whole mama I be talking about. Uh, I, I guess we all do it when we're young. Uh, you work, you work against one another. As baby mama and baby daddy, you you work against one another. Uh, for the best interest of each other's feelings, separately. Uh, why you destroy your child's emotions? That's what that's what you, that's what we do, homie. So you, you know, I don't always agree with Charleston White. I think he says a lot of outlandish things at times, but when you really listen to a lot of things that he says about relationship dynamics and, uh, you know, parenting and all that, a lot of that stuff is spot on, just like this video. You know, a lot of times people get in relationships and because, you know, society sees everything as, you know, the woman is the best option to raise the child and all that, the woman is actually leading that. Right. If they're the, the couple's not together no more or even if they're they are together. And a lot of times the hurt feelings get in the way of what's best for the child. A lot of women will punish men when the men decide they don't want to be with them anymore. Or there's just something that the woman doesn't like. She doesn't want to be in a relationship anymore. Whatever the case may be, the relationship ends and women become very uh, uh, bitter. They want to start trying to keep the child away. They want to start playing games. Um, from my own personal experience, I was raised by a single mom. And I will tell you, I always knew where my dad was and where my dad was never really around like he should have been. Now, there's a lot of reasons probably why that happened. Some of that is probably my mom's fault and some of it is probably his fault. But the bottom line is this, when you have a child or children, you have to understand that they come first. You are no longer, uh, in a world that just involves you you have to put them first you have to stop being selfish stop thinking about your own selfish needs because if somebody from the outside came and attacked your child you will be the first one to want to throw hands you would be the first one to defend your child but why is it when it comes to you as a parent making these bad decisions you don't think the same way do you think because you're the parent that your kid will just get over it and they'll just forget about it and it's fine because you're the parent and they'll just forgive you? It doesn't work like that. That stains a child the rest of their life. Even to this day, I think about what if my dad was there? What if my mom and my dad was there in these certain situations? Even divorce. You know, when parents get divorced, Kid, parents are like, oh, it's not your fault, me and your dad or me and your mom. You know, we just don't get along anymore. And this is the best interest for you and all this stuff. But the kids still suffer from it because they still internalize it. They still believe it's their fault. You have to understand children do not have the ability to reason. They cannot see this, the things that happen in their lives the same way you do. And a lot of times parents are very selfish. They're only thinking about themselves. And a lot of times women, women deal a lot in hurt feelings, a lot of baggage. They get angry. The guy might get a new girlfriend and then it's, oh my God, you're not going to see the child at all. Or, oh, I don't want uh, this new woman around the child, all these things. But it's when it's in reverse, they expect men to just say, okay, that's fine. You got a new boyfriend. Don't. Um, don't, don't be concerned, uh, that your kid is around another man because I'm the mom and I'm going to make sure nothing ever happens to him. You see, it's, a, it's, it's always, it's always a double standard. You should never keep your child or put your child at a disadvantage to be away from, uh, their parent, especially their dad. 
This is the reason why a lot of children are out of control because they don't have any discipline. Even if you have a good relationship with the father of your child and they see the child regularly and all that type of stuff, it's not the same as if the child was around the father all the time. It's a huge thing. And a lot of times women don't see it that way because they're only thinking about their feelings and what they want. And a lot of times, quite frankly, they figure, well, my kid has a roof over its head. My kid has a bed to sleep in. My kid has clothes on their back. My kid has food to put in their mouth. I don't need to do anything else. Yes, you do. You have to make sure that your child is involved with their father. If you can lay down with the man and have a child, and vice versa, if you can lay down with the woman and have a child, y'all both need to make sure that you stay in the responsibility zone of taking care of your child. Don't be playing games. If you move on, move on. But you can't cut the other parent off like they don't exist. Start playing games, not want to have uh, the child around the parent. And fellas, if that is happening to you, I advise you to go to court because by law, Women are not allowed to do that to you. You see videos, you hear women, women talking about this all the time. Well, I, that's over. You're just not going to see the child. Oh, oh, da, 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 da. I don't like this woman. You're not going to see the child. Oh, you don't send me no money and you're not going to see this child. No, the law doesn't work like that. Go to court and demand that you can see your child. Because if you go to court and this woman is telling the judge, well, he ain't paying, so he can't see the child. The judge is going to say, oh, no, ma'am. Yes, he is. Because that financial support has nothing to do with him seeing his child. Now, they might. I know in California, they'll garnish your check. They can even take away your license. Um, they can throw you in jail and all that. But the court will not tell you that you cannot see your child because you can't pay. So if you're having this problem as a guy, go to court. I know you don't want to. Who wants to? But if you get to that point where you're feeling like, the woman is keeping your child away from you and you can't build a relationship and you're in that type of situation, just go to court and deal with it that way. Women go to court on men all the time. Simple as that, right? Always do what's best for your child as a man or a woman, not what's best for you. Because again, when you have a child, it's no longer about you and your selfish feelings. Get over it. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.